Like a space station, in fact, China, however, intends to bury a huge marine lab 2,000 meters beneath the South China Sea surface. The long gone deep sea space station is also present. This initiative, which is listed number two among China's top 100 scientific and technology goals, is a component of the 13th five year economic plan for the country. Indeed, the space station is no stranger to folks on Earth. Yet few people are aware that, in addition to conventional ocean powers like the United States and Russia, humans have already begun construction on a deep marine space station that will stare out across the whole planet. Research on deep sea workstations is also being done in Europe by nations like Norway and the Netherlands in order to develop deep sea mineral, oil and gas resources. More and more people responded as the cry came from the ocean's depths. So what exactly is China's past? A single deep space station. Why do people desire to investigate the deep ocean? The resources of the enigmatic ocean are where? Good news has arrived from China's space station. A crucial phase in the space station's development has begun. China's deep sea space station, Long Gone One, is the main character in today's video. The simplest and most effective approach to learn about the ocean is to dive in and see it firsthand. So even going to Mars is simpler than this ostensibly straightforward procedure. In actuality, deep water exploration by humans falls short of Mars in every way. According to figures compiled by relevant academics, mankind have not thoroughly investigated 95% of the world's seas and 99% of its seafloor. What issues then impede the exploration of the deep oceans by humans? Seawater pressure is the primary issue that all researchers face when doing deep sea exploration. The force you will have to contend with will be 1,000 times stronger if you really dive 10,000 meters below the surface. This is comparable to an ant carrying a car's weight. There is no chance of surviving. The pressure is still the second issue. Although deep sea probes may be used by people to descend to the ocean's floor, they still require air pressure adjustments in order to withstand the pressure of the deep sea, and the body will suffer significant harm as a result of the rising internal air pressure. The respiratory system of the human body will be significantly impacted, and it will only be able to breathe through specifically manufactured oxygen. At this point, excessive pressure has caused the oxygen in the detector to turn into a deadly gas. The third issue is the absence of light. Beyond 150 meters, the ocean blocks the sun's light. Thus, we can only identify our surroundings via radar. Corrosion caused by the cold and deep water will also be a concern. The ones in the deep water are the most dreadful, in my view. Nobody is certain if there are creatures like Godzilla that can only exist in the uncharted deep oceans, larger and more powerful than sperm whales. The greatest fear is always the unknown. From January 23, 1960, when the United States accomplished the first man submersible dive to a depth of 10,916 meters. Since then, no one has been able to break through until 2012, when American Hollywood filmmaker James Kim Long dove to a depth of 10,960 meters and realized once more that manned submersibles had encountered a period of rest in these 50 years. There have been 12 successful lunar landings. So what resources are available in the ocean's depths and deep sea? Together with the tens of millions of tons of oil resources, the seafloor 300 meters below the surface is home to a vast array of rare minerals, including flammable ice, which is referred to as new energy by humans. Relevant facts indicate that mankind can exploit the deep sea combustible ice supplies for 1,000 years. The finding of new energy is surely wonderful news in this era of massive energy demand. In particular, deuterium, tritium and fuel for nuclear fusion are abundant in salt water. It is specifically based on maritime exploration and the use of marine resources. Around 2000, China started to step up its deep sea exploration and launched a scientific study project for the Gel Long Man submersible. China's deep sea operation, already capable, was strengthened step by step in 2012 when the gel alone successfully set deep sea records at the 1,000, 4,000, and 7,000 meter levels. China is also conducting extensive study on its other deep water exploration gear at the same time. It is also China's first functional, long gone deep sea mobile working platform. The Long Gone One is a deep sea space station if Geelong is a Shenzhou spaceship. 
What then does the mega project look like, which British specialists claim has surpassed that of America? According to the three-step approach of China's deep sea space station, Long Dong 1 is a specially built working platform for marine exploration and the development of marine resources at a depth of 2,000 meters. Making a modest test boat for a deep sea space station is the first stage. The creation of a compact, transportable workstation for deep sea use is the next stage. Creating a deep marine space station that can survive underwater for 60 days is the third phase. The first and second parts of the plan have now been finished by China, while the third step is presently in the rigorous development stage. China intends to construct a deep marine space station between the years 2020 and 2030. The station will have dimensions of 60.2 meters in length, 9.7 meters in depth, and 15.8 meters in breadth. In a normal setting, it has a capacity of up to 2,600 tons. It not only has exceptional capabilities for deep diving, but it also has a range of living amenities to satisfy the various housing requirements of scientific workers. It also features a nuclear power system and a large number of deep sea scientific research gear, which together ensure that a crew can carry out a deep sea scientific research expedition at a depth of around 2,000 meters for a period of approximately 60 days. This outpost, which is dedicated to deep water exploration, may one day become home to deep-sea submariners. It will function similarly to a space station in that it will remain stationary during the whole year. In point of fact, China was not the very first country in the world to build a space station located deep inside the ocean in the 1960s. The year 1965 saw the beginning of a competition for dominance in deep-sea exploration between the two superpowers of the United States and the Soviet Union. The United States of America had a significant role in the development of the Near-1 Deep Water Space Station, which is capable of functioning on the ocean floor for an extended length of time. The length of its deep-sea space station, which can dispense 400 tons of weight, is 45 meters. It has the ability to dive a thousand meters below the ocean's surface. While concurrently generating electricity through the use of nuclear power, it has the capacity to house 13 people for an extended period of time, between 15 and 20 days. During the 1970s, the Soviet Union kept a careful eye on events. As a result of this, there are now three space stations located deep under the ocean. The first deep marine space station, given the code name 1910, derives its electricity from nuclear power and is capable of plunging to a depth of around 700 meters at its greatest point. The 18,511 Deep Water Space Station is the second one, and it was presented to the military in the year 1986. The third one is the Deep Space Station with the designation 10,831. It has a maximum diving depth of 6,000 meters and can accommodate up to 25 passengers at once. It had a displacement of 1,600 tons when it first went into service in 2003. The United States of America and the Soviet Union continued their ocean research for a very long period despite the fact that China was the first country to create deep water space stations. On the other hand, the conclusions that may be drawn from scientific research are fairly limited. Meanwhile, the creation of China's deep space station occurred just very recently. It has now reached the highest point possible anywhere in the world. Share your opinion in comments. Also, click on this video to watch about another shocking project.